We have four different numbers up here. We have 8.99, 8.999, 83 over 10, and 8 and 2 thirds. And we want to put these in order from least to greatest. We're going to start with the decimals because my decimals, I'm just going to use the strategy where I'm turning everything into money. This one already looks like money, $8.99. Okay, now for this one, if I cover up the nine, that would be $8.99. So I'm gonna think of this one, I've made this dashed so that I'm ignoring that one. So $8.99. Now we are gonna have to come back to this one in a second because see how these are tied? $8.99 and $8.99. So we'll come back to this in a second. Okay, now this one, we just learned how to go from a fraction to a decimal. So if you read this from left to right, it says 83 divided by 10. So I'm gonna have 83 divided by 10. And if you pick up your calculator and you take 83 divided by 10, then you're gonna see that that is 8.3. Okay, now that this is 8.3, if we use the strategy, make it look like money, remember we can add a zero on the end to make it look like money. So this, instead of being 8.3, is gonna be 8.30. So this one is $8.30. Okay, so I started with 83 divided by 10 and then added a zero. Okay, now this fraction here, there's a little bit more going on. We're going to focus only on the one third. So if I focus just on the one third, I'm going to turn just the one third into a decimal. So if I read that from left to right, that says one, next line, divided by, next line, three. So if I grab my calculator and I do one divided by three, then I'm gonna end up getting, and the decimal goes on and on and on, but the decimal ends up being 0.3333333333. Now, this number is eight and one third. So I wanna put the eight in front of the decimal, because it's still eight. The question was, what comes after it? And one third is 0.3333333. Okay, it's okay with that so far? I just turned the one third into a decimal and now I can put it with the eight. Let's make it look like money. So if I cover up this part, then it's $8.33. Okay, so that one's $8.33. I just use dashes, dashes to ignore those. Okay, so now let's try to arrange these from least to greatest. <laughs> $8.30 is definitely the smallest one. Okay, so I'm gonna put here $8.30. But keep in mind, that was originally 83 over 10. Okay, and on Alex, you can just grab this one and drag it and drop it so you don't have to type it in. Okay, then the next one after 8.30 is gonna be $8.33. Okay, so $8.33. But originally, what that really was, was eight and a third. So you'd wanna grab this one and drag it and drop it there. Now these ones currently are tied. That's $8.99 and $8.99. So remember when the numbers are a tie, you wanna look after. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a zero on here and I can put as many zeros as I need afterwards. Money-wise, this is 8.99. This one is 8.99, but I look at one number past and I'm comparing zero with nine. And nine is bigger. So it's gonna be this one. And so then that one's our biggest. So this one comes next, 8.99. And then this one is 8.999. Again, it's because this guy here is a zero. So nine. 99 and then zero compared to nine, nine is bigger.